Silet International Airport. Our time in the city has actually come to an end. We are going to a hotel where the president is staying. So efficient, the, the, the so most much. efficient process I've ever had. Amazing, and Shafiq just turned up out of nowhere. <laughs> the president is staying here at the same time that we are, and um, yeah, it's just madness. And here comes the rain. Good morning from Silet International Airport. Our time in the city has actually come to an end. Our plans yesterday to explore more of the many waterways didn't materialize and today we are heading back to Dhaka. We actually realized today how connected Silet and the UK are. This tiny, this is it, this tiny little airport that only has domestic flights also has two international flights a day and then only two international flights are to the UK but we are not going back to the UK, we are heading back to the capital of Dhaka on US Bangla and we are actually checking in to a very unique hotel in the capital city and we might even have to be delayed in checking in because today we are going to a hotel where the president is staying. Good morning. Hello, sir. Good How morning. are you? Welcome on board. Okay, I'm hello. Hello, hello. hello. Alhamdulillah. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, where are we? Thank you. Never thought I'd say I'd be looking forward to going back to Dhaka. <laughs> no, I'm ready. I'm ready for Dhaka. I never thought I would say a Bangladeshi flight is on time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, Thank you very much. You too. And welcome back. To Dhaka after around 35 minutes we have made it and it was definitely worth paying the little extra to fly rather than get the dreaded Bangladeshi trains I could never do another Bangladeshi train but we are straight on to the US Bangla bath greeted by the rain of Dhaka and into the like party themed red VIP seats. It's a strange process. That has got to be one of the quickest processes an airport I've ever had. Jumped onto the party bus, got our suitcase, and we have now met our driver from the Pan Pacific Hotel. Well, not just a driver, we have Shafiq, who is like our greeter, plus we have our driver. We have been granted access to go to the hotel early while the president is still there, granted by the government itself, which is very, very unique. Thank you very much. Donabad. Donabad. Can I help? No, no, no. It's okay? Efficient. So efficient. The, the, the so most much. efficient process I've ever had. Amazing. And Shafiq just turned up out of nowhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Donabad. Wow. What? Thank you. <laughs> What a welcome. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? Came on at you? Good. Are you perfect. Thank you. Wow, this is a lovely car. We I also have... Everything is, okay. everything is perfect. Everything is amazing. The quickest airport process I have ever had. But it was a domestic flight. Sure. Yes. Yeah, very out. easy. It was so quick. But I'm worried about the Saranudar Hotel. Uh, maybe some traffic? Uh, too much traffic because uh, our local president yes. went to our hotel at 11.30. So wow! wow. So, uh, there's so hard security. Yes, yes, of course, lots of security. So he's the president is at the hotel right now? No, so he's uh, arrived uh, in, uh, attend the inauguration program at 11.30. 11.30, wow. So in one hour, the president wow. of Bangladesh will be arriving at the hotel around the same time as us. <laughs> expressway uh, straight from the airport um, to the city centre and it should eliminate some of the traffic. So with the expressway, it only opened last week, how long should it take on the expressway? Uh, expressway will, um, within 10, 15 to 20 minutes we can oh, reach wow. the, close to the hotel. Really? But after get down then take time. Yes, yes, yes of yes. course, of course, that makes sense. So normally it would be like maybe one hour but with expressway 
10 15 minutes all to go there i hope if they uh, don't block the ro road entrance to the hotel yes due to uh, arrive facility into our hotel then we'll reach to the hotel all together one hour oh okay there we go so one hour I rather than best. actually all of course different on traffic so. yeah it's, it's difficult to know but the expressway like eliminates about an hours of time an hour of time but if we are slightly late we have to wait because the president <laughs> goes first look at this there is literally not a car in sight this has completely changed the way travel can be done throughout Dhaka and I think behind us where she just went past what will be the new terminal the new international airport and that'll be direct that will be directly connected to this so in the future you will just sail through is it good it must be good to drive on this yes. with no traffic no traffic on no this. traffic it's perfect right yes. it's very good no traffic at all exactly and how much does it cost to drive on the expressway how many taka uh how many taka is it 80 taka okay yeah it's good less than one dollar to have no traffic thank you very much thank you thank you thank you sir not bad Wow. Oh, that's okay. I can wear it. Thank you very much. Oh, we're steamed. We're very steamed. It's that hot outside. It is that hot outside, yeah. We flew by. As soon as you got on that highway, it took like Skyway, Expressway, whatever they call it. It was like 10 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay, Good. Good morning. Hello. Cheers. Cheers. This is so unbelievably needed. Hang on. Oh, delicious. We um, we actually just got rushed in like a little hush hush because we are very nearing the time that the president is arriving. So we need everyone needs to be out the way. Um, this is so unusual. Like, what a unique experience that we're getting to have right now. Like, the actual president is staying here the same time that we are, and um, yeah, it's just madness. So yeah, this is the Pan Pacific Hotel. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Didn't have time for breakfast this morning and they actually gave us access to have a late breakfast and a cappuccino, but we obviously have to have our movement restricted until one or two o'clock. So for a couple of hours, because the president, the president is gonna be in the blooming <laughs> building, not just the president. We also have the New Zealand and Bangladeshi cricket teams here during our stay, so we're gonna have a cappuccino, a little light breakfast. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Donna Oh, lovely, that looks so good. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, hash browns as well. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, my friend. You, you, you read my mind, honestly. This is what is needed. Thank you. Quickly, quickly, come in. I've got a story to tell you. Before I give you the room tour. So, we were sat down, we had our omelette, which was really, really good, needed, needed that cappuccino. And then we came up to our room and there was airport security. The army. president is on our floor. The president is at the end of this blimmin' hallway. I can't believe it. It is such a such a unique experience, like I said. But now I can give you I've never our had tour. that before. Never. They, they had set up, you know, like the airport scanners that you walk, <laughs> walk through. We come out the lift and they'd set up like a portable one of that with like soldiers and Bag insane. Checks. And it, Anyway, this isn't a room, this is this is a suite. We need to show you where we're staying. It's actually more like a house. Um, we've been given an upgrade, which is absolutely amazing. So we have our humongous TV behind Matt. You can see it here, look. Look it's at the huge. size of it compared to me. We have a living room. Look at the, so this is, this is ridiculous. We have the biggest sofa you'll ever see. We have a table and chairs area. I love the views out over the city. And one thing that's really, really unique is a cake with our faces on it. Such a nice touch. Do you know what? That photo is actually a few years ago, so we look considerably better than they we do now. need to edit some <laughs> fat onto my stomach to make it accurate. We have a kitchen and fridge area in there, and they brought our cases very nicely of them. We have a huge bed, actually, just bed test quick. Oh, do you know what? I am actually the quite exhausted. The president has a suite on this floor. Yeah. I think we have a better room than him. <laughs> Maybe. And then we have our bathroom. You have a pillow menu. Humongous bathroom. I mean, there is a lot to show you here, but we actually have to be in the room now for the next sort of half an hour or so until the president leaves. Not a bad view at all 
of the darker skyline. I need to get myself in that pool, but we have some time to kill before we can go out and explore the hotel because we need to wait until the president is finished because we cannot be moving around as we would be a security risk. But we did find this, the Happy Sleeper's Guide. So right next to our bed, we got this book where you have, like a lot of nice hotels, a pillow menu, but they also have tips to elevate your sleep when to eat and they have a menu some things cost but they have a free menu with compliments you can call up room service get a warm milk before bed a chamomile tea before bed or the chef's daily sleep enhancers they also have that's mad a deep body relaxation page where you can call up and you can get them to run you a bubble bath or aromatherapy bath in your room. Madness. The president has left the building and it is now time for us to hit up that swimming pool that we saw from our suite. So actually when we arrived earlier, right here, literally here, there was like four army guards, a huge airport scanner. It was pretty insane. It was an experience that I'll definitely Remember, but I'm ready to swim. Hi, how are you? A full-on library or shop library. And it has, I think, Book there we shop. go, look. Oh. All books <gasps> about Thunder Bands. That's lovely, what a nice book. But, we also have a shop. Hi, Salam Alaikum. Come on up, Joe. You can buy everything here. Ah, it's like duty free. Yeah, <laughs> perfumes. Look, celebrations, quality street. I could do with a pack of them, to be honest. Full on <laughs> Thank toiletries. You. Thank you. Thank you. And then surely out here, yeah, is what you're looking for. The uh, outdoor swimming pool. Now this is what I am talking about. This is what I saw from our room. The giant swimming pool. But these clouds look pretty ominous i think we also have i might be wrong that goes the call to prayer we have a jacuzzi here it's so unique being in a hotel you're sort of in your own sanctuary and then you can hear the call to prayer and then the, the goings on of Dhaka behind we have a jacuzzi i'm definitely getting in that bar over there and this is the entirety of the hotel it's very impressive Thank you very much. Oh, that's okay. I can take them. That's, I, I, it's good. I've got them. It's good for me. Thank you very much. Done a bad. Thank you, my friend. The staff are too friendly here. They don't want me to do anything. But I am definitely positioning myself under here because that rain... What is up with the weather in Dakar That rain today? is coming. Look at the clouds. And here comes the rain. Look at that. There is something quite relaxing about being in a tropical country, sitting out. I'm watching the downpour, that is heavy. Scrap that, the pool idea is not happening. That rain was not stopping and we had to make a break for it back to the room. And I've decided to try some of this cake. Have a wonderful, st I'm gonna cut straight through your head. Please don't. Is that, is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> sort of thing, oh look at that. Whoa. I can see your butcher in it already. I have your head. I have cut your head. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, look at that beauty. It is going all over my hand. But look at that. We have Molly's head on a cage. Oh. Oh. Let me try some. It's so good. Quick. It's unbelievable. It's like unbelievably good. Mm. Mm. But it's like premium. Not just the rain, there's another reason. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that we come up is because with the sweet, we've actually realised or been told cool, that's good. That we have access to the lounge and from six thirty to eight thirty the lounge has alcoholic drinks. We could not get any closer. <laughs> To the lounge. We literally have we two tried. doors. 
Good evening, Salam Aleikum. Kemen Acha? Hello, 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 hello. This is all I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. Yes, yes. Can we have two hands please? Yes. Thank, you. Thank you, Donabad. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, my friend, nice Donabad. cold. Thank you. The lounge life. Mm. Ice cold. Hunter beer. Not the best beer that you're ever going to have, but in Bangladesh, if you drink alcohol, affordability wise, it's going to be this but this is our lounge we have a cricket bat signed by the england team south african and bangladeshi team they definitely have a theme with cricket here I'm still looking for the new zealand team but <laughs> you know as we are now in the lounge cheers cheers mm. yeah it's not the best but it will do Good morning from the Pan Pacific Bangladesh. Last night we had a lovely buffet meal and listened to some traditional Bangladeshi music before getting up reasonably early today. And now the New Zealand cricket team have gone out to practice. We've decided to come down and jump in the jacuzzi next to the pool. The rain has finally gone. Yeah, the weather seems to have improved a slight bit. Don't want to jinx it, but this jacuzzi, I can't lie to you, I'm burning red water. It is absolutely boiling. <laughs> we have actually decided to spend another whole day at the hotel. What? What a shame. We were going to go out and explore a little bit more of Dhaka, but this place is too good to go out and explore. I don't really know what this video is going to be about. The flight from Sillet going on the brand new expressway, staying with the New Zealand cricket team and the blooming president. It's been a crazy 24 hours, but I'm just going to sit here, enjoy the sun and one of the best hotels you're going to find in all of South Asia. Anyway, as the pool is now pretty empty and not raining, I can show you the outside garden area. So we have the jacuzzi, which is lovely. We have the huge main pool here with all these sun lounges. You can actually go under when it's raining and then you come round and this, we actually haven't been here yet. So I feel like we might have lunch here today. This is the outside terrace restaurant and bar. If you come through, you can also go in the little pool here and then go round and grab a beer from in there. Unfortunately, beers are almost 10 pounds here. So I don't know if we'll be having too many. I love this though. If I was to show you that backdrop, you would definitely not think that you are in Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's a quaint, tranquil, they're good words. Little garden, you sit out here, have your 10 pound beer. But my favorite bit is that not only do we have the little pool here, you also have an aquarium, look. We have lots, there's the bar. Lovely bar. I might have to get one drink in here later. Again, you wouldn't think you're in Dhaka, but this is the aquarium with, look at these, big koi carp. These are koi carp? Yes, they're not to eat. See, not to eat. To eat? No, not to eat. Not to eat. Definitely not to eat. <laughs> They're saying to eat, but they're definitely not. Look at them. Nice little touches. What on earth is this? We've been greeted by some sun. It is always the way when we're down by the pool trying to sunbathe or in the jacuzzi, it starts to rain. And when we're not, the sun rears its head over the city of Dhaka. I love the skyline behind the hotel, but that was, like I said, a very unique, very strange, very interesting video. An experience that I'll definitely, definitely remember. Coming into a hotel while the president of a country is here was insane. Getting patted down search just to enter my bedroom. Staying 
with the New Zealand and Bangladesh. We have literally been in the gym with the New Zealand and Bangladesh cricket team, which is absolutely insane, but such a cool stay at the Pan Pacific. A hotel full of history here in Dhaka. They've got a wall full of all the famous dignitaries, politicians, world leaders that have stayed at this hotel. And now us, now blooming us. But we do have one more day, one last day in Dhaka, Bangladesh, before leaving after three whole weeks, almost a month of travel in this fascinating, chaotic country. But um, it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna be watching some cricket. So we'll see you in the next one for the last time from Dhaka, Bangladesh. <laughs>